Dar es Salaam is the largest city and former capital of Tanzania. With over 6 million people, it is the largest city in East Africa and the fifth largest in Africa. On the Swahili coast, Dar es Salaam is an important economic center and one of the fastest growing cities in the world. Over the last century, Dar es Salaam has grown from a quad Zaramo fishing village into a thriving tropical metropolis. According to the UN population projection, the city is expected to host approximately 73 million people in 2100, more than the whole population of the country today, at 61 million people. The town was founded by the first Sultan of Zanzibar in 1865. It was the main administrative and commercial center of German East Africa, Tanganyika and Tanzania. The decision was made in 1974 to move the capital to Dodoma and was officially completed in 1996. Dar es Salaam is Tanzania's most prominent city for arts, fashion, media, music, film and television as well as serving as its leading financial center. It is the capital of the co-existent Dar es Salaam region, one of Tanzania's 31 administrative regions and consists of five districts. District of Kinondoni in north, Ilala in the center, Obungo and Temeke in the south and Kigamboni in east across the Kurasini estuary. Dar es Salaam experiences tropical climatic conditions typified by hot and humid weather throughout much of the year due to its proximity to Equator and the warm Indian Ocean. Dar es Salaam is the major city in Tanzania to which people in outlying areas are attracted for better opportunities. Additionally, the movement of Westerners, Asians and other foreigners into the region has incentivized relevant government bodies to develop better policies to accommodate the growing and diverse population. Dar es Salaam is Tanzania's most important city for both business and government. The city contains high concentration of trade and other services and manufacturing compared to other parts of the country, which has about 65% of its population in rural areas. Downtown includes the small businesses, many of which are run by traders and proprietors, whose family originated in the Middle East and Indian subcontinent areas of the world, with which the settlement of Tanzanian coasts have had long-standing trading relations. The Dar es Salaam Central Business District is the largest in Tanzania and comprises of the Kisutu, Kivukoni, Upanga and Kariako areas. The downtown area is located in Ilala District. Kivukoni is home to Tanzania Central Bank, the Bank of Tanzania, the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange and the city important Magugoni Fish Market. With the businesses and office, Kisutu is the location of Dar es Salaam Central Railway Station, the PSPF Tower as well as the TPA Tower. The Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange DSE, is the country's first stock market. The government has been introducing a metro bus system, Dar es Salaam Bus Rapid Transit. The metro buses are managed by UDAT in partnership between Usafiri Dar es Salaam and the government. The bus rapid transit system phase 1 has been completed by UDAT and began operation on 10 May 2016. The first section runs between Kimara in the northwest to Kivukoni on the northern headland of the harbor. Phase 1 was funded by World Bank, African Development Bank and the Tanzanian government. The port of Dar es Salaam is Tanzania's busiest, handling 90% of country's cargo. It is located in the Kurasini administrative ward of Temeke district, southeast of the city central business district. Dar es Salaam has also commuter rail. Travel to urban and suburban part of the city by using Dar es Salaam commuter rail. There is a huge construction project going on in Tanzania and especially in Dar es Salaam which is Tanzanian SGR. Tanzanian Standard Gauge Railway is a new railway station currently under construction. It will link the country of Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi and Congo. When completed, this project will make Dar es Salaam look even better. So there you have it, the financial capital of Tanzania, Dar es Salaam city. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, share and subscribe to The Boss TV. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.